Atlantic slave trade. Involuntary immigrants. Video module 166. Segelgeschichte. Watch the video twice. When you watch it for the second time, take notes on the Atlantic slave trade. Write a short encyclopedia article about slavery in North America. Use your notes from A. What comes into your mind when you think about slaves? Or slavery? Slavery means that humans are treated as the property of others. Throughout human history, there has always been slavery, as, for example, in ancient Rome, where slaves were neither unusual nor forbidden. People could buy or sell slaves, hire them, give them as presents, or inherit them. Throughout history, slavery has taken different forms in different cultures. Beginning from the discovery of America by Christopher Columbus in 1492, the European powers colonised America and wiped out most of the original inhabitants, for example, the Aztecs, the Incas and the Native Americans. As a result, there were not enough workers on the continent from the 16th century onwards, especially to work on the coffee tobacco and cotton plantations in South America, the Caribbean, and the southern part of what is now the United States. This shortage of labour led to the Atlantic slave trade. More than 10 million Africans were brought to the American continent in this way. The Atlantic slave trade is often described in the form of a triangle with corners in Europe, Africa, and America. European traders bought Africans in the slave markets of the West African coastal cities to ship them to America. These ships, filled with slaves, went to North and South America and the Caribbean. During the voyage, the slaves were kept in a small space and cooped up like animals. They were chained up and beaten, suffered hunger and thirst, slept in their excrement, and were barely alive. A lot of them became ill, and many did not survive. Historians estimate that about one and a half million slaves died during the voyage. In America, the slaves were used as workers on sugar plantations, on coffee, cotton and tobacco farms, and in mines. The slaves were exchanged for raw sugar, rum and cotton. These goods were put on ships and taken back to Europe, where they were sold. From Europe, the ships went to the West African coast. They brought various goods, including weapons, gunpowder, cloth, alcohol, and horses. These goods were exchanged for slaves. The triangular transatlantic trade was from the 17th century one of the most important parts of the world economy for more than 100 years. Many parts of the American economy could only work if they constantly received new deliveries of slaves from Africa. Next, let us focus on the situation of slaves in North America. At the end of the 17th century, the number of slaves there increased a lot. Many slaves from the Caribbean were brought further north. Later, the slaves came directly from Africa to North America. 
this trade route was called the Middle Passage. Like other products, slaves were advertised in newspapers and sold in shops. The treatment of slaves was brutal. They had no rights and were often abused by their masters. The economic system based on this mistreatment stood in contrast to the values of the United States of America, which was founded in 1776. The Declaration of Independence stated, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Concerning slaves, there was a great difference between the northern and the southern parts of the United States. Slaves were much more important for the economy in the south than in the north. Even in 1850, there were still about four million of them in southern states like Alabama, Mississippi, South Carolina and Tennessee. The threat of a split between the northern and southern states provoked the American Civil War. One important cause of the conflict was the abolition of slavery. The northern states had already started to forbid slavery in the 18th century. This civil war, which caused about 600,000 deaths, took place from 1861 to 1865, and it ended with victory for the Unionists, the people from the northern states, over the Confederate states in the south. One result was that from 1865 on, slavery was officially illegal in the United States. But racism has continued in the USA. Racism means that one group of people consider themselves better than another, discriminate against them, or even persecute them. Even half a century ago, black people in the United States were strongly discriminated against and had to fight for their rights, like Martin Luther King, leader of the civil rights movement. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Work in groups of three. Abraham Lincoln became American president in 1861. During his presidency, slavery was abolished. A few years earlier, in a speech in Illinois, he said, What I do say is that no man is good enough to govern another man without that other's consent. I say this is the leading principle. Three men listened to this speech. One is a farmer from Illinois, where slavery was already forbidden. The second is his former slave, who still works for him as a labourer. The third is the farmer's brother from Mississippi, who is visiting him. He owns a big plantation with many slaves. On the way home, they discuss the speech. Write a script for their conversation. You could present it in front of the class.